in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father once again we give you glory we praise your name thank you for bringing us to Mount Zion once again thank you for filling your house with the multitude thank you for the beautiful people you have gathered on your unto yourself for Mount Zion and thank you for the light of your word you are bringing our way spirit of the living God take over now we are here to hear your voice we are here to listen to you you are our teacher unto you teach us we can never be taught but thank you because you have brought us to teach us therefore spirit of God teach us enlighten us bring signs and wonders from your word to us and make us signs and wonders and let the name of our Lord the Lord be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed with thanksgiving amen, amen. praise the Lord you may be seated Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. I can't I can't wait to enter into the new year. I can't wait. 2012 is a wonderful year for you and I. 20 years 2012 is a year that uh, what has never happened before is going to happen. What has not happened before, what the good thing that has never happened to you before is going to happen in the year 2012. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is not going to be the usual way of working with God anymore. It is going to be as if we have lost our mind when it comes to Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh, David thought he could dance better. We will prove to David that we can dance better than him. Yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. David thought he loved God. We will prove to him that we love God more than him. He thought he's the only one who is who was happy when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. We are going to prove to David that we are more happy than him when it is time to go into the house of the Lord. So check, it's not going to be the usual way of doing things when it comes to God. It is going to be very unusual. We, as a matter of fact, we are going to be very unusual people. People will look at us and say, what, what from these people? I mean, are they the only Christians? Are they the only church? Why are they why do they only have different attitudes like that? Why are they so crazy about God like that? Why is it that when it has to do with God, they can't hear anything again? That's the kind of people we are going to be. Because unusual things are going to happen. Mind-blowing things are just about to happen. The package is already ready for our taking. Praise the Lord. And so if you want to be usual, I can't be your friend because you won't be comfortable around me. You understand? Because when you are usual, you are working with somebody who is kind of unusual. It's like, oh, wait a minute, who, who is this? What, what kind of a strange being is this? You know, but the good thing is we are not going to be comfortable, I mean, uncomfortable with each other because we are all going to flow on the same wave of the Holy Spirit. We are going to be unusual people when it comes to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In everything, unusual way of breaking through is what we are going to be experiencing unusual way of manifesting is what we are going to be experiencing as a matter of fact god's mandate for royal christian family ministry for the year 2012 is our year of glorious manifestation amen praise the lord Hallelujah. and so throughout the year by the leading of the spirit the servant of god is going to take you through step by step the steps we are going to take to manifest our glory to manifest we are going to manifest like that. And we are going to be a center of attraction. Our, our lives are just going to attract people like magnet into the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because anything that is not of God around you can never move with you again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that is not of God that has been hanging around you, you will never see it again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. We give him all the glory. So, we have already talked about understanding your divine nature. Uh, we have also talked about um, growing to manifest your divine nature. We have talked about the secret of manifesting your divine nature. So now let's go on today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. We're still moving on in the same direction concerning our divine nature. And uh, let's talk about something I call today obedience, the key to your manifestation. 
obedience the key to your manifestation in other words manifesting your divine nature in other words manifesting your divine nature one thing we have to understand as the children of god is that every time you obey god you commit god every time you obey god you commit god every time every time every time i obey god i commit god every time i excitedly obey god i commit god and until you prove him with your obedience you are not entitled to his proofs in your life until you prove him with your obedience you are not entitled to his proofs in your life you are not so every time you obey god you commit him to perform every time you obey not under pressure but excitedly joyfully willingly obeying him you commit god to perform and you have to also understand that every finger of god is a product of man's obedience anytime you see the finger of god at work in anybody's life it is as a result of his obedience to god his obedience to god's word so every finger of god is a product of man's obedience so we can understand that obedience is the basis and we are talking about obedience to the word of god and so divine intervention is a result of man's compliance with god or with god's word divine intervention is as a result of man's compliance with god so anytime you desire a divine intervention then you have to be ready to walk with god on the basis of his steps that is lining up yourself to the demise that makes for divine visitation it is not running after people and so-called prophet and powerful men of god hiding in some corner somewhere but it is you complying with God, lining up yourself to the demise, obeying the demise of scripture to commit God to perform in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will never take a second place in anybody's life. Never. He's too big for that. God will never take a second place in anybody's life you either give him the first place in your life or you are not entitled for his hand that's it he will never take a second place in anybody's life and he would also not force himself on anyone you either give him the first place in your life or you are not entitled for the manifestations of his hand upon you so when we get this understanding, it will, it will affect the way we set our priorities in life. Until God is on top, until God is first, until God is number one in your life. You don't see his hand at work. You know, so we have to be aware of all these things and, and joyfully comply with it in order for God to move in us in this new year that he's about to usher us into. Because like I said earlier, it is not going to be the usual way of walking with him. It's not going to be the usual way of going to church. That, that kind of attitude where you go to church when you feel like that kind of attitude where you do it only when it is comfortable for you. That kind of attitude that you, you go to church because you have nowhere to go that day. It's not going to be that way. But we are going to come up to the level where until, until God is first, 